slightly over, so just chuck it back a fraction. Welcome to Golf in Cornwall. In today's feature we look at Cape Cornwall Golf Club, Killio Golf Club and Cornwall Disc Golf. We start today's feature we're taking a look at Killio Golf Club. Killio Golf Club was formed in 1987 and is located only five minutes from the Cathedral City of Truro. Set in the magnificent grounds of the Killio Estate, this well-maintained and picturesque 18-hole parkland course presents a challenge to golfers of all standards. The tranquil settings offers a chance to relax amongst the mature trees and natural water features. The course consists of three par fives, four par threes and eleven par fours. It measures 6,124 yards off the men's competition tees and 5,440 yards from the ladies tees. The Four Hole Academy course is an excellent practice facility for golfers looking to warm up before a round on the main course, or for beginners trying to improve their golf ready to progress to the 18 hole course. The club has a vibrant golf membership and offers society packages for all. Each new full member receives 12 free group lessons in their first year of membership. I've been joined by Killio Secretary John Crowson. John, can you tell us about the course here at Killio? Well, we've got an 18 hole uh, course here, um, 6,000 yards, pretty good um, for beginners and experienced golfers alike. Uh, challenging course at times. Uh, in very good nick at the moment because of the weather and uh, thanks to the greenkeeping stuff. We've also got a four hole academy course, which is great for practicing. And do you offer societies and visitors packages as well? Yeah, we do any, uh, we're adaptable for any societies and visitors really. Um, they only have to ring me up and um, if there's enough of them we can negotiate prices and um, yeah, we, we welcome visitors here and uh, societies and uh, we've got good food in the clubhouse and um, a great course to play. And uh, what's your favourite hole on the course here? My favourite hole probably is the fourth I think, it's a par five, it's a double dog leg. Um, you've got to be positional where you put it and also when you get down to the green there's a lake on one side of it so you've got to be really careful not to roll off the green and go into the lake but yeah I think that's probably my favourite. There are over 40 junior members at Killio Golf Club and the junior organisers Pat Rose and Jean Pugh hold weekly competitions every Sunday at the club. Killio was accredited with Golfmark in November 2011 for their impressive junior structure and for getting new people into the game. Resident PGA professional Richard Sadler is the reigning Cornwall PGA Alliance Order of Merit winner and won the 2012 Cornwall PGA Match Play Championships. Richard also competes on the PGA Euro Pro Tour, is a Cornwall County coach and offers tuition packages for all. I've been joined by Killio professional Richard Sadler. Richard, when did you turn professional? Uh, I've been a pro now for 21 years, so 1992 I turned pro, which is an awful long time ago now. And um, played golf in America to start with on various tours, ended up on the Nationwide Tour. And then moved back to Cornwall in 1999, where I joined Mullion Golf Club with Phil Blundell. And then after that, I've been at Carlisle Bay for a, a year and a half with Mark Rowe and then came here to Killio in 2007. And what sort of coaching do you offer here at Killio? Uh, we offer various coaching, um, beginners coaching, ladies coaching in groups. Uh, we do a lot of junior coaching and also individual coaching obviously for the, for the other people that play golf. So there's a, a wide variety of, of options we have and most people tend to really enjoy it. When they start improving they start to enjoy the game a lot more. And you've got great facilities there for coaching, uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, it's ideal. We've got a fantastic driving range. It's um, about 350 yards long so there's no danger of the ball going out the back of it and it's downhill which is nice for people when they're first starting. We also have a, a really good academy course which is four holes which helps people when they first start when they're not too confident about going on the golf course and holding people up they can use that instead and and get to be get to groups of playing golf on a golf course without the the hang-ups of getting in other people's way. And you still play a little bit do you? I still play a lot in the region yeah and play pro-ams and a little bit on the Euro Pro Tour this year so try and keep the playing side up to scratch. 
And uh, yeah, still enjoy playing. I think that's why you become a professional in the first place. And I think it's important that the um, the coach of the coaching side, obviously, very important, but also the playing side needs to be maintained at a good standard. There are good practice facilities at Kilio Golf Club with a driving range consisting of six undercover bays and four outdoor bays and a practice putting green. There is a spacious bar and the restaurant can cater for up to 100 guests. There is a variety of food choices available from excellent Sunday carveries to bar snacks. The clubhouse is popular with private functions and the club holds regular social events for members. For more information about Kilio Golf Club, please visit the website www.kiliogolf.co.uk. Kalion Bay Golf Club's head professional Mark Rowe and director of golf Paul Martin deliver an exciting and entertaining golf show. Trick shot golf shows became popular in the 1980s with light-hearted comedy and impressive ball striking. Former PGA European Tour professional Noel Hunt was one of the first golf professionals to deliver these trick shot events. These shows add a dynamic experience to any Captain's Day, corporate event or charity day. I'll be joined by Mark Crow. Mark, how long have you been involved with trick shots? How long? We've been, uh, we've been doing trick shots for about eight to ten years. And how did it start off? It all started uh, obviously some time ago when the committee came to me and asked me if I knew anybody that did trick shots because they wanted to do a trick shot show for a social evening and I thought well maybe we could we could do it ourselves. And uh, how many times a year do you do it for and who do you do it for? We do it about half a dozen times a year, six, eight times, not, not that many, but we've, we've done quite a few over the years. We've uh, probably the, the highlight was doing it for the seniors tour, the European seniors tour. We've done St. Austell Brewery, Ford PLC, lots of different corporate events. The show lasts for 45 minutes and incorporates hitting golf balls with a range of different clubs, of four foot high tees and balancing on a number of different apparatus. The shots off the high tees are always a crowd favourite and members of the audience are invited to take part. The majority of the participants hit the tee and miss the ball altogether. The trick shot shows are very entertaining and require a high level of skill to perform the shots. For more information about the trick shot golf shows Paul Martin and Mark Rowe can offer, please visit www.markrowgolfschools.co.uk. Just like traditional golf, the object of disc golf is to complete each hole in as few shots as possible. With disc golf, a flying disc or frisbee is thrown rather than hitting a ball. To complete a hole, the disc has to land in an elevated metal basket. Like real golf, disc golf uses a lot of the same terminology as traditional golf. There is a teeing area where the first throw or drive is made. Then you make an approach shot to the basket and hopefully you are close enough to make your putt for a par. The sport was founded in the 1960s in the USA and a professional disc golfer will carry between 12 to 20 golf discs per game, including a range of drivers, approaches and putters. Some discs are designed to turn right or left in flight. Professional disc competitors can throw the disc over 200 metres in length and the length of holes range from 50 metres to 250 metres. The discs are designed like golf clubs to vary the distances each disc travels. I've been joined by Steve Cox. Steve, can you tell us about disc golf? Yeah, disc golf is played the same as golf in, on the, around a course, with the same par system and everything, but instead of using a, a golf ball and clubs, you use a frisbee. And um, what sort of the handicap system like? We don't use a handicap system, we use a division rated system where you start with an intermediate amateurs, then advanced amateurs and then an open division. And uh, do you play events all over the country then? You play, all, yeah, there's events every month up and down the country organised by the BDGA. And so far I've done three tournaments and I won my last one which was the British Open at Croydon. And so I was an intermediate amateur so now I've advanced to advanced amateurs. And uh, have you got a website for the National um, Disc Golf? Yeah, it's the bdga.com. There are 30 disc golf courses in the UK and the venues range from forest, farms, parks, schools and universities. A number of the venues have portable targets that are set up at the start of the day and taken down when the event has finished. The sport is extremely popular in the Scandinavian countries and in America where there are over 3,000 permanent disc golf courses. There is a professional tour that attracts disc golf competitors from all over the world. I've been joined by Mike Davies. Mike, how long have you been in England? Uh, just about a year now. And how did you take up uh, 
practice golf? Well, I started in the States and then I found Steve and Brian doing it in Cornwall, you know, really getting people involved and getting people aware. And, uh, you know, it's been a great thing just to get out and see more, more and more people get interested. And how big is it in the States? It's quite big. Uh, there's thousands of courses easily and uh, I was telling you earlier um, public courses almost get too crowded nowadays and you have to have your friends start private courses to make up for it. So obviously it's uh, quite small with about 30 courses in the UK at the yeah, moment about 30 so courses. hopefully it's going to grow over the next uh, few years. Yeah and I think it is I mean just from seeing all the people interested in the community around Falmouth and whatnot I can't see how it couldn't. Disc golf is fun to play and accessible for all ages and abilities. It is also a good form of gentle exercise. For more information about trying disc golf in Cornwall, please visit www.cornwalldiscgolf.co.uk. The Cornwall Golf Partnership was proud to be part of Tahiti Park Golf Club's stand at the Stythians Show on Monday the 15th of July. The Stythians Show is the largest one-day show in the country with over 15,000 visitors. Tahiti Park PJ professional Jonathan Lamb was on hand and offered free golf lessons to visitors to the show. There was nearest the pin and longest drive competitions on the Sweet Spot Golf Simulator and in total over 200 people tried golf at the stand during the show. 28 of the participants won a free family golf lesson at Tahiti Park and the club had a lot of inquiries about memberships and how people could get into golf. I've been joined by Tahiti Park manager Ian Veal. Ian, why did you come to the Stivian show? Well, it's just a case, Simon, of being proactive, getting golf out to the public, really. Um, you know, you can no longer sit still and wait for members to come through the door to you. So take the golf club out to them and, and hopefully attract some new members. We've booked Sweet Spot, the golf simulator, which has been really popular, really busy. We've got Jonathan Lamb here behind us. I'm not sure if we can see him, but uh, he's coaching some of the juniors at the moment. And, it, and it's proved really beneficial. I think it's going well. And what's the feedback like from the public? Really, really good. They're loving the simulator. That, that's just fantastic. And just the fact that golf is out here and they can have a go at it, free of charge, try it, and, and at the same time, if I can get some business out of it for the golf club, you know, it's a win-win. And have they got anything to go on to on the golf club afterwards? We're going to do some taster sessions going on from this. There's people here today who have won some free lessons just by having a go in the net and hitting the, the right area. Um, so we're going to invite them back, give some free coaching, and, and hopefully that will lead to more business also. It was fantastic to see Tahiti Park Golf Club taking golf into the community and being proactive trying to recruit new members and customers. Cape Cornwall Golf and Leisure is a unique destination in one of the most stunning golfing settings in the southwest of England and has wonderful views of the Atlantic Ocean on all of the 18 holes. Cape Cornwall has a fantastic offer of dinner, bed and breakfast and a round of golf for only £80 per person per night throughout September. To take advantage of this special offer, contact us on 01736 788 611 or visit www.capecornwallgolfclub.co.uk Golf holidays and golf breaks in Cornwall. Weekend golf breaks in Cornwall from only £99 per person. Two nights, B&B, &B, plus three rounds. With direct flights from Newquay Airport from many cities, direct rail links from London and the Midlands, and now motorway and dual carriageway right to the heart of the county. Please visit our website at www.mulestravel.co.uk or alternatively, please call us on 0800 008 7411. Bowood Park Hotel and Golf Club is set in the heart of North Cornwall in 230 acres of rolling hills and woodland. The Par 72 Championship course measures over 6,700 yards from the back tees. The hotel consists of 31 ensuite rooms and each room offers tea and coffee making facilities, flat screen television and free Wi-Fi. Bowood Park has a fantastic offer of two nights bed and breakfast and three rounds of golf for only £80 per person for Sunday to Thursday bookings and £90 per person for Friday and Saturday bookings. To take advantage of this special offer, quote Golf in Cornwall and contact us on 01840 213017 to make your booking or visit www.bowoodpark.com.
Welcome back. We now go to our second featured club, Cape Cornwall Golf Club. Cape Cornwall Golf and Leisure is a unique destination in one of the most stunning golfing settings in the southwest of England. Cape Cornwall is the first and last 18 holes of golf in England and is located only one mile from the town of St Just and six miles from Land's End. The course opened in 1990 and is designed by Bob Hamilton. It is a challenging par 69 layout and is a good test of golf for all abilities. All of the 18 holes have spectacular views over the Atlantic Ocean and the course overlooks the only cape in England. I've been joined by Cape Cornwall captain Roy McDermott. Roy, how long have you been a member here? I've been a member now for just coming up for 10 years. And what's the course like here at Cape Cornwall? The course is very challenging because the weather dictates how we play, um, but it's very enjoyable and we're uh, going through massive changes on the course and with all the accommodation etc. So we are moving in the right direction, we're going forward. And obviously stunning views here, uh, has the course improved over the last 12 months? Drastically. Since the new owners took over with a lot of investment, we are um, going onwards and upwards. The complex moved to new ownership and management in August 2012. An extensive refurbishment programme was put into place and to date the first seven hotel rooms have been completed to a high standard, together with the bar and restaurant area. Further phases of the redevelopment are planned with seven additional rooms, a leisure centre, holiday lets and a converted water tower. The course will also be upgraded and improved in 2014. Golf legend and BBC commentator Peter Alice and his course architect David Weller visited Cape Cornwall in November 2012 to offer their advice on the course improvements. The club has a healthy membership and is popular with societies and residential golf breaks. I've been joined by general manager Richard Bunch. How long have you been here, Richard? Uh, I've now been associated with the club for three years as a member, committee member, and now general manager. And what's it like here at Cape Cornwall? Well, I fell in love with the place when I came here four years ago, and as you can see with the views behind us, it's just a stunning location, stunning place to visit, and now with all the hard work we've put in the last 12 months, it's a great place to come and play golf. And what improvements have you made here? Uh, we've made improvements with regards to the accommodation, bar and restaurant and we've invested heavily in the course in new machinery and uh, we're very fortunate and we had Peter Alice and David Weller his uh, course designer come down for two days last November and we're currently following a program that they put together in order to make the course far better to play and enjoy for all. And what's the future plans as well? Uh, future plans are that we've got further phases of building work to go, there's uh, a new restaurant planned, uh, four holiday cottages, the water tower which is in the uh, car park is going to be developed into a two bedroom house and then we're going to have a new leisure facility which will be a uh, swimming pool, gymnasium, sauna etc etc. Et uh, very exciting times then? Very exciting times, we're moving forward and uh, Cape Cornwall will be one of the best destinations in Cornwall and the South West to come and play golf without a doubt. The newly refurbished bar and the Cape restaurant offers the most contemporary dining in West Penwith and beyond. Head chef Matt Grenfell and his team deliver top quality locally sourced food. All of the fish and seafood is sourced from the waters surrounding Cape Cornwall, which provides the most stunning backdrop to the restaurant and terrace. The club has excellent conference packages and the stunning location and facilities make a fantastic venue for weddings and special occasions. For more information about Cape Cornwall Golf Club, please visit their website www.capecornwallgolfclub.co.uk. The Cornwall Under-18s boys team took part in the South West Boys Amateur Championships at Western Supermare Golf Club on Wednesday the 10th of July. All six counties within the South West are represented in these championships. The competition is a 36-hole medal with both an individual championships and a team event, with the best five scores from six per county counting towards the team aggregate. I've been joined by Cornwall Golf Union Junior President Phil Lineker. Phil, what's your role within the Cornwall Golf Union? Well, as Junior President, I head up the team of volunteers who make up the Junior Committee, who oversee the upkeep and the well-being of the juniors within Cornwall. And, uh, and how many junior teams are there in Cornwall? Well, we have uh, three junior teams. We have the under-18 team, we have the under-16 team and the under-14 team. And uh, how have they got on so far this year? Last week, or beginning of this week, we had the South West Championship, Boys Championship at Western Supermare. 
uh, for the under 18 team where they performed very well, improved three places on their position last year and ended up third. And you're hoping to go one better next year? I think we can go even better than that. Uh, with the team we've got, they've all, most of the team will be playing again as the under 18s. We'll only miss our captain, Adam Curtis. We hope to win it next year. And uh, have you got some plans for the future with Cornwall Golf Union and the junior structure? Well, in the past we've only concentrated on the under-14s, under-16s and under-18 teams. But uh, this next year we've amalgamated, we've joined forces with the ladies who look after the girls in the county and also the acad golfing academy. They'll be, we'll be looking after uh, about 100 juniors throughout the, the whole of Cornwall uh, under a whole structure looking after the academy from ages six seven years old right up to the under 18 so there'll be a tiered structure all the way through so it'd be a good pathway for juniors coming in right from the, right the grassroots from the, right from the grassroots we'll keep an eye on them all the way through and hopefully we won't miss anybody we'll see how they mon monitor them all the way through the winning county for the third successive year were devon with a team aggregate of 733 Devon qualified as the South West representative in the English Boys County Championships final to be played at Kettleston Park Golf Club from the 27th to the 29th of August. In second place was Somerset on 735 and Cornwall finished in a respectable third place on 740. In the individual championships, Gloucestershire's Jamie Dick was crowned South West Boys Amateur Champion for 2013, with an impressive score of 2 under par, 138. Cornwall's boys captain Adam Curtis finished in third place in the individual competition on 2 over par, 142. For all the scores from the South West Boys Amateur Championships, visit www.swcga.co.uk. In Cornwall Golf News, the Cornwall men's team took on Gwent in the Channel League at Perrinporth Golf Club. Cornwall continued their excellent recent form with an impressive 11.5 points to 3.5 points. Cornwall remains in second position in the Channel League table with two matches left to play. The Cornwall men's senior team were also in action in their seniors Channel League encounter against Somerset at West Cornwall Golf Club. Cornwall produced some excellent golf to win the encounter by 10 matches to 5. Truro Golf Club's Sarah Jane Boyd made her international debut when she represented England in the European Ladies Amateur Team Championships at Fulford Golf Club. England finished in sixth position after the stroke play competition and the top eight countries qualified for the top tier match play championship. During the quarterfinal match, England were drawn against the Netherlands and the contest was tied on three matches each, with Boyd's match all square after 18 holes. Sarah Jane's game went into extra holes and she managed to win her match on the 21st hole and progress England through to the semi-finals. The team couldn't produce the same performance in the semi-finals, losing to a strong Spanish team by four and a half matches to two and a half matches. Spain went on to win the European Ladies Amateur Team Championships by beating Austria in the final. Golf in Cornwall has joined forces with Cape Cornwall Golf Club to offer a great prize in our fortnightly competition. You can win a night's dinner, bed and breakfast at Cape Cornwall Golf Club for two people and this includes a round of golf on their golf course. To win this prize, simply answer the following question correctly. Which coast is Cape Cornwall Golf Club situated on? A. North B. West C. South To enter, please email your answers to golfcompetition at cornwallchannel.co.uk by midday on Monday the 5th of August 2013. Competition entries are open to anyone over the age of 18 and the competition winner will be notified by Friday the 9th of August 2013. Terms and conditions apply. That's all we've got time for today's episode. See you on the next programme.